All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson four, and we continue with the concept of having our students drawing bar graphs and answering questions. So let's just get right at it. So you can see we are being asked to draw a horizontal bar graph. We have our table full of data. There's our title. So that means automatically we kind of know that that's going to be the title of our table as well. Types of reptiles. Interesting. I've got a turtle. In fact, I have two at my house. Reptiles. All right. So types of reptiles. And we know that since we've got four categories in our table, we're going to need four categories in our bar graph. So we've got snakes, lizards, turtles, and tortoises, tortoises, all right. And then the other thing that we need is we know we need to have our numbers going down here. Ignore the A and the B down there. Those are the questions we're gonna answer at the end. So we need to label. So I'm gonna kinda of slightly make that a little bit larger and let's do one, two, three, four, five. And notice that the number is directly underneath the line that the number is not in the space, it's representing the line because that's the important thing. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, oops, and then 13 and 14. Okay, so now we can zoom out. All right, and then we are now officially ready to make our bar graphs. So you'll see we have 13 snakes, and here's our 13. So 13 goes all the way to right here. In fact, I'm going to use a slightly thicker pen there. Right there. So there are our snakes, and there's 13 of them. Right there is our bar graph. We have 11 lizards, because it says so right there. So I'm going to look for my 11 there's my 11, so here is my bar graph for the lizards right there. And you'll notice because there's 11 lizards, our bar graph goes straight down to the 11. That tab or tape, almost like a tape diagram, goes straight to the 11. We have seven turtles, so that's going to go right here. And we have eight tortoises. What? My turtles are in last place. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we can color those in because it's cool to do that. So there's our blue. I guess I'm, I've chosen blue today. So we're going to do blue. And there are our bar graphs. So let's do a little bit of repositioning here. All right. There's our repositioning. So now we have some questions that we can answer. So how many reptiles are at the zoo? Because it says so right there. How many reptiles are at the zoo? So the idea is we know that we need to add up all of our lengths. A couple of ways we could do it. We could, if we wanted to, add them up here, just our numbers. Or we can add them down here. We can say 8 plus 7 plus 11 plus 13. So that's the idea, is allow your students the opportunity to uh, talk about how they added all of these numbers up. Um, it's more than just getting the right answer. We want to talk about how did they get the answer. How many more snakes and lizards, snakes and lizards, than turtles? So the idea is we, we want our students to really read carefully and cautiously snakes and lizards than turtles. So we are going to do snakes and lizards. Whoa, yikes. <laughs> Add both of these numbers up. So we've got 11 plus 13. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Plus we have 3 plus 1 is 4. So that's 24. So we've got 24 snakes and lizards compared to just 7 turtles. So we would have to figure out 24, whoa, 
24 minus 7 to figure out the answer to that question. Of course, is that the only way? No, you could have said 7 plus what equals 24. So we could have solved it using addition. And then the last question is really just, um, oh, well, we could say how many fewer turtles and tortoises than snakes and lizards. So that's another kind of comparison question. And parents and teachers, do you see all the vocabulary words that are essential for us to put on a word wall for our English language learners? And then the last one is allow your students the opportunity to write their own questions. And then students can make those as complicated or as easy as they want. And then here is, uh, again, the same concept, only this time it is a vertical number line. So I'm going to pause the video and fill in all of our information. So here it is. We have, let's see, the title, Underwater Animals. We've got the four different categories down here, sharks, stingrays, starfish, and seahorses. And now you see the side legend going here by ones and uh, now we're going to graph and so we can see that we have six sharks so it's going to go right up to here there's our six sharks we have nine stingrays so it's going to go right there we have 14 starfish so that's going to go way up there and then lastly, we have 13 seahorses, and that's going to go right there. And of course, we should always color code, or, or make pretty, not color code, or make our bar graphs look kind of nice and pretty. So here we go. So now we have these questions that we can answer. How many more starfish? than sharks did Emily see? How many fewer stingrays? And once again, it's an opportunity to practice those important mathematical, math, math vocabulary words and, um, and then answer your questions. And more, most importantly is let students talk about how they got the answer more than just what is the answer. And that wraps up second grade module seven, lesson four. Students are drawing bar graphs for data and then answering questions.